Hello everyone, it's Nadian. Welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be testing out this fake ass, the Luminizers palette by The Balm. As you marvelous people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tiff you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. I got this from AliExpress for $3 and it took a little over a month to get to me. Okay, so I love the bomb from their packaging to the names of their products to the actual products themselves. They are just like a killer brand for me. I did use Sona Balm highlighter and the texture of it was just like, ugh, orgasmic. So when I saw this on AliExpress, I knew I had to try it, especially because you guys have been requesting it for quite a while now, so it worked out perfect. This packaging is the bomb. <laughs> See what I did there? No, but for real, this is excellent quality. Everything on it is exactly like the real, from the barcode to the ingredients to the names absolutely fantabulous and we're moving right into swatches unfortunately the clip where i sang the swatchy song instead a few other things was erased i am so sorry please forgive me but this swatch is a mary luminizer which was very rough very gritty not smooth feeling at all and you might not be able to tell from here but this literally looks like powder with some glitter thrown in there not impressive but next up we have cindy luminizer which i thought was supposed to be a blush but this looks very highlighty in fact this looks quite similar to the fake kylie highlighter that we tested tested a few weeks back and you awesome people helped come to the conclusion that it was basically a fake balm product with Kylie's name on it with the Tarte imprint on it. Literally, what the fuck? Lastly, we have Betty Luminizer, which I thought was a bronzer. If I'm totally wrong, I apologize and I completely used these incorrectly in a few seconds then, but for some reason, I guess I thought that this was a bronzer, Cindy was a blush, and Mary was a highlighter. Am I wrong? I'm probably wrong, shit. All right, first we're going to go in with Betty Luminizer. Hopefully it's not too sparkly, but we'll see. Try to bronze this face up a little. Hmm. Let's do a little more. Ooh. We'll do the forehead. <gasps> ah. Even though this was really soft to swatch with my finger, it's a little bit difficult to pick up on a brush. But even though a lot doesn't pick up, it still does a good job bronzing my face. I think it's just a little bit light for my skin tone, maybe. It kind of blends in. Now we'll try the blush, Cindy Luminizer. This one seems to have quite a bit of fallout. I don't know why this one does, but the Betty Luminizer doesn't, but it's okay, we'll work with it. Here we go. Did that do anything? I can kind of see on my monitor a little bit of rosiness right there, but I can't tell anything in person. What do you guys think? I actually do see quite a bit of highlight on my cheek right there and going up, which I normally wouldn't put highlighter right there, but I actually kind of like it. Now we'll try a little bit of Mary Luminizer to highlight my upper cheekbone. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh. That's pretty. I'm not exactly certain if I use these correctly, like if the Betty Lou was supposed to be a bronzer, or the Cindy Lou a blush. I know the Mary Lou was supposed to be a highlighter, but it does kind of look quite a bit cakey there because there is so much product. So I don't really know how I feel about that. From a distance, it does look good though, I think. I don't know, what say you good people? Do you think it's really doing anything? I mean, I can see that it's doing stuff, but do you think it looks good? Here we are up close so we can kind of see the texture we have going on. Everything is fine, except it's a little bit cakey right there. Like it's opening up my pores and the highlighter wasn't like a bam highlighter like the real one was so that's a little bit disappointing but i mean it looks okay just kind of cakey i mean don't get me wrong for three dollars this is pretty good but you don't want to make your skin look older by caking a bunch of products on there so I don't know if I really like it. And sadly, I remember that I was using this brush to play with real highlighters earlier and forgot to wipe it off, so the initial glow that we got was from actual highlighters, not this. So when I dip my brush in the highlighter and try to highlight anything, it doesn't do a damn thing. It just looks like baby powder, so I'm guessing that's why this looks cakey up here, because it looks like I just dunked my cheek in a bat of powder. I mean, it was only $3, so it's really not that big of a deal, but is it as good as the real? No. And of course, I cannot recommend a fake because we really don't know what's in it, but is this the worst thing we've tried? No, but it's certainly not the best. Like, I'd give it maybe a 5 out of 10 if that. But there you go. Don't forget, my newest single, Underwater, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting it. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see in future fake-ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!